Divorce is normally a painful and tumultuous process, discomforting for friends and relatives who feel forced to choose sides and abandon relationships they've held dear for years. But one family is breaking with breakup tradition, turning the end of their marriage into a celebration. Here's ABC's Nick Watt. Divorce is so very often ugly. Brangelina, no more. Johnny Depp versus Amber Heard, denied and dropped, but damage done. McCartney Mills, Richard Sheen, Bullock James, super ugly. There are nearly a million divorces in America every single year. It was heartbreaking, it was really hard work, it was devastating. With Tortilla? Michelle and Jeff from Berkeley, California, they just got divorced. It's like having, you know, a death, it's, you grieve. Okay, but... The first day of being divorced, we had the party. The divorce party, yes, party. Celebrating the end of their marriage, friends, family, jokey little bottles of booze, celebratory signs, just divorced on Jeff's car, champagne. Happy divorce. 24 years together, two kids, pop, gone. People that know them, you know, understand that this is something they would totally do. Let's tee this up with a little Louis C.K. wit and wisdom. Divorce is always good news. I know that sounds weird, but it's true because no good marriage has ever ended in divorce. Spoken as a divorcee. You're celebrating the death of something. No. The end of something. No, That's the, wrong. the so beginning we're, you, we're not something. celebrating the fact that we're getting divorced, we're celebrating the way in which we did it. The way they did it. Lessons, perhaps, for the rest of us? I think there's a lot of animosity when couples separate due to the finances. They wore like the roses. I am the one who found this house. I bought everything and in it with my money. It's a lot easier to spend it than it is to make it, honey bun. Uh, I didn't feel that I way. I never felt that way. No. Yes, we're both much poorer than we used to be. <laughs> but again, just things. Were there any sticking points, maybe like an old Crosby, Stills, Nash album that you couldn't? <laughs> no. None. We, you know, we, we all, we figured out that uh, we didn't care about this stuff. So just yeah. things. This, this girl and her sister who's not here are the most important things to us. Kids are often collateral divorce damage. Remember this Canadian kid in a viral video telling us all what kids of divorce really want? I want you, Mom, my dad, everyone to be friends. I want everyone to be smiling, not like being mad. Did you enjoy the party? Yeah, I thought it was really fun. <laughs> Bittersweet at all? Your parents no. are getting divorced. I mean, I, I didn't feel sad at all. I just thought it was fun. It is healthier for the kids if the kids can feel that they have two parents who are good people, but for whatever reason, just couldn't live together anymore. I mean, I love the idea of the party. I think it was like a good way to show everyone that like, no matter what, even if they're divorced, you know, we're still a family and nothing's really changed. We have two beautiful, smart daughters. We all have a good sense of humor. We're still a family, just a different type of family now. How do you make this work? With well, a lot of work yeah. and humility and sacrifice and discussion and careful thought. And professional help. So, congratulations. <laughs> I suppose. That's, a, that's the best thing to say. Yeah. 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 And that's actually what everyone has told us. They walked up to us at the party and they said, congratulations in the form of a question. So yeah. they don't know what to say. <laughs> Brings us on to what happens to your mutual friends. I mean, I've had friends split. And you take sides. And we hope that our friends don't ever have to do that. They don't or, have to pick sides. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that we're still going to be friends forever and we want to keep our friends forever. It's an admirable goal that this couple wanted to send a message to their friends. It's also a way for the couple not to lose anything more than they already have lost. They've lost a marriage. They don't want to lose half their friends due to loyalty issues. You seem to still quite like each other. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're friends. We've been friends for, you know, half 20, our life. 20, 20 years. Yeah. <laughs> so why get yeah. divorced at all? <laughs> it's been a multi-year process, let's put it that way. Multi-year process. Yeah. Okay. And so we didn't take the decision lightly. We just did a lot of self-examination and realized we had fallen out of love, and that just happens. It happens for a lot of reasons. Yeah, the, the people who I would feel sorry for are the people who recognize that they're in that situation, and they, they stick together for the wrong reasons, and then they're unhappy for the rest of their lives. Pole dancing, here we come. Hey! Okay, here at Nightline, we have actually seen people celebrating singledom alone. 
like Vanessa, a mother of four who divorced after 15 years of marriage. We're having a divorce party. Swing your left leg around and just pick up your feet. It's funny how I could be so happy and excited for today and, and it brings tears to my eyes that I'm just so thankful to be where I'm at in my life. Kenny tried some skydive therapy. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. This is well, awesome. What do you say to your ex-wife? Hey, I did it without you, and I'm going to continue to do things without you. My wife leaving and moving into her own place was really a shock. I went through the depression phase, the heartache, the what-ifs. I think him having this party is really like helping him get out and just have fun and enjoy himself. But Jeff and Michelle celebrated together. I also had the idea that the party was a way to not feel sad. It was a way to avoid feeling sad because how could you not feel sad? Now, not long before Gwyneth and Chris consciously uncoupled, she told me this. It's not easy to be married for 10 years, you know? I do. Later, she posted an essay that read in part, Our biology and psychology aren't set up to be with one person for four, five, six decades. Who you are at 20 may not be who you are at 40 or 50. We grow apart. People are living longer, so they're asking themselves the question, can they be happy with their partner? Any chance of reconciliation? <laughs> no. <laughs> He's super cute, but <laughs> now available. <laughs> I've certainly heard of divorce parties where one person is present, and it's almost a way to put their past behind them and celebrate a new chapter in their lives. So this is certainly something new, but I'm sure it won't be the last joint party that we see moving into the future. It might be offensive to some people that we're letting that go, and then on top of it, celebrating it. <laughs> but that's not how we look at it. I'm Nick Watt for Nightline, Berkeley, California.